For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to evaluate definite integral and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of x cubed minus 5x squared all over x dx evaluated from 2 to 3? So to simplify this one, let us write our given as the antiderivative of x cubed over x minus 5x squared over x dx evaluated from 2 to 3. x cubed over x, that is x squared. And negative 5x squared over x, that is negative 5x. So we are going to have the antiderivative of x squared minus 5x dx evaluated from 2 to 3. So the antiderivative of x squared, that is x cubed over 3, minus the antiderivative of 5x, that is 5x squared over 2, evaluated from 2 to 3. So let us substitute the value of x. So we are going to have 3 raised to 3 over 3 minus 5 times 3 raised to 2 over 2 minus the quantity of this time the value of x that is 2. So that is 2 raised to 3 over 3 minus 5 times 2 raised to 2 over 2. So let us simplify. 3 raised to 3, that is 27, over 3, minus 5, 3 squared, that is 9, over 2, minus 2 raised to 3, that is 8, over 3, and then minus 5, 2 squared, that's 4, over 2. So let us write our answer here. So I'm not going to divide 27 over 3 because of this expression. So let us write 27 over 3, and let us multiply negative 5 times 9, that is negative 45 over 2, minus 8 over 3, minus 5 times 4, that's 20 over 2. So let us distribute the negative sign. This will be 27 over 3, minus 45 over 2 minus 8 over 3, negative times negative, that's positive, 20 over 2. So let us simplify. 27 over 3 minus 8 over 3, that is positive 19 over 3. Negative 45 over 2 plus 20 over 2, that's negative 25 over 2. So let us simplify. So the LCM of 3 and 2, that is 6. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Multiply by 19, and then 6 divide by 2, that is 3, that's a negative 3, times 25. So let us simplify. 2 multiply by 19, that's 38. Negative 3 times 25, that's negative 75 over 6. So therefore, 30, 38 minus 75, that is negative 37 over 6. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the antiderivative of e raised to 3x dx evaluated from 0 to 1 third? So to simplify this one, let us use the antiderivative of e raised to x dx, that is e raised to x plus c. So let us use the formula in order for us to answer number 2. So the antiderivative of e raised to 3x, that is e raised to 3x, over the derivative of 3x that is 3 and it is being evaluated from 0 to 1 third. So let us substitute the value of x. Let us have e raised to 3 times 1 third over 3 minus e raised to 3 times 0 divided by 3. So let us simplify. Let us cancel 3. That is e raised to 1 or simply e over 3 minus e 3 times 0 that is 0 over 3 so this will be e over 3 minus e raised to 0 that is 1 over 3 so you can write your answer as e minus 1 over 3 this will be our answer or if you are going to type this one on your calculator this will be 0 0.2 
57. On number 3, what is the antiderivative of 1 over x dx evaluated from 1 to e? So the antiderivative of 1 over x, that is ln absolute value of x evaluated from 1 to e. So let us substitute the value of x. So let us have ln absolute value of e, that is e, minus ln absolute value of 1, that's 1. Always remember, ln e is always equal to 1, and ln 1 is always equal to 0. So therefore, 1 minus 0, that is 1. This will be our answer. On example number 4, what is the antiderivative of cosine x dx evaluated from pi over 6 up to pi over 3? So the antiderivative of cosine x, that is sine x, evaluated from pi over 6 up to pi over 3. Pi over 6, that is 30 degrees. And pi over 3, that is 60 degrees. So this will be sine pi over 3 minus sine pi over 6. Or can be written as sine 60 degrees minus sine 30 degrees. Sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. And sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half. So you can write your answer as square root of 3 minus 1 all over 2. So this will be our answer. On example number 5, what is the antiderivative of sine 2x dx evaluated from 0 up to pi over 4? So the antiderivative of sine 2x that is negative cosine 2x divided by the derivative of 2x that is 2 evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Pi over 4, that is 45 degrees. So this will be negative cosine and then 2 multiplied by pi over 4 divided by 2 minus negative cosine 2 times 0 over 2. So let us simplify. So let us cancel this one. It becomes pi over 2. And pi over 2, that is 90 degrees. And cosine 90 degrees, that is 0. So this will be 0 over 2. Negative times negative, that's positive. So 2 multiplied by 0, that is 0. And cosine 0, that is 1 over 2. So this will be 0 plus 1 half, that is positive one half and this will be our answer on example number six what is the antiderivative of second square x dx evaluated from pi over four up to three pi over four so the antiderivative of second square x that is tangent x evaluated from pi over four up to three pi over four pi over four that is 45 degrees. And 3 pi over 4, that is 135 degrees. And the reference angle of 135 degrees, that is 45 degrees. So 135 degrees is located in the second quadrant. So therefore, we are going to have negative value for tangent. So let us have tangent 3 pi over 4 minus tangent pi over 4. Tangent 3 pi over 4, that is tangent 135 degrees. And it's located in second quadrant. And the sine of tangent in the second quadrant, that is negative. And tangent 3 pi over 4, that is 1. Minus tangent pi over 4, that's positive 1. So this will be negative 1 minus 1, that is negative 2. This will be our answer. Number 7, what is the antiderivative of x squared multiplied by the quantity x cubed plus 5 squared dx evaluated from 0 to 1? If you are going to simplify this one, you can simplify this expression and then multiply by x squared and then find the antiderivative. But this time, let us use 
u substitution. In u substitution, we have to eliminate the variable x. In order for us to do that, let us set x cubed plus 5 as the value of u. And du, that is the derivative of x cubed plus 5, that is 3x squared dx. So let us express this one in terms of dx. So let us divide both sides by 3x squared. So dx is du over 3x squared. So let us have the antiderivative of x squared times u squared du over 3x squared evaluated from 0 to 1. So we can cancel x squared. So we are going to have the antiderivative of u squared du over 3 evaluated from 0 to 1. So we can move this one in front. So this will be 1 third. times the antiderivative of u squared du evaluated from 0 to 1. So the antiderivative of u squared, that is u raised to 3 over 3 multiplied by 1 third evaluated from 0 to 1. So let us simplify this one. So this will be 1 multiplied by u raised to 3, that is u raised to 3 over 3 times 3, that is 9, evaluated from 0 to 1. So let us substitute the value of u, that is x cubed minus or plus 5 raised to 3 over 9, evaluated from 0 to 1. So this time, let us substitute the value of x. So this will be 1 raised to 3 plus 5 raised to 3 over 9 minus 0 raised to 3 plus 5 raised to 3 over 9. 1 raised to 3, that is 1 plus 5, that is 6 raised to 3 over 9. Minus 0 raised to 3, that is 0 plus 5, that is 5 raised to 3 over 9. And to simplify, 6 raised to 3, that is 216 over 9. Minus 5 raised to 3, that is 125 over 9. So therefore, we are going to have 216 minus 125 over 9. And that is 91 over 9. And this will be our answer.